Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you for joining us here in the beautiful Sastal Valley. My name is Andrew, and I am the International Ski Federation's coordinator for Bring Children to the Snow. We're here today to give you a status update on a key project of ours called Project Play. We launched Project Play back in 2016 with the simple idea of bringing children to the snow to give them an escape from the harsh realities of life. Over these past years, we've been working hard with some key players to bring these children to the snow. But unfortunately, as many of you have been aware around the world, we face some tough times. So here we are to give you a status update with the esteemed Pat Borgener. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's catch you up on what's been happening with Project Play. Pat, thanks for taking time from your busy schedule right before <laughs> the season. How are you? I'm very good, thank you so much. You've had a bit happening in the last couple of months or the last year. Yeah. What's been going on? I've been really good on snowboarding, which is good. Then got injured, you know, like uh, all big athletes, you get, you have to go through this. And yeah, we've been doing this amazing project in Lebanon, mm -hmm. Right to Play, which got stopped because of uh, COVID in March 2020. There's a decision just passed down by the Lebanese government that's saying all, all schools are closed until the 14th of March and all sporting venues are closed as well. Sporting venues. Which includes the resort. And I wish we could have ended this project, but it's, uh, it's not ended yet, so hopefully we can finish this mm -hmm. this year. Yep. Last time we went to Lebanon, last year, we were that close to completing it. Really that close. We were. <laughs> we were literally 24 hours away yeah. from doing it. But obviously COVID hampered things. What was your take when you saw it going down and how it happened? I was so, I, I, like, I couldn't believe it. But at the same time, I thought the world is going through this. You know, mm -hmm. it's not only us with our project. I was trying to stay, stay cool and be like, it's not, it's not a problem, we'll do it next year. But then it just kept going, you know, and that's, that made me really sad when we couldn't go last year because I just realized, I'm not sure we, we will be able to finish this project and that, that kind of breaks my heart. Uh, a lot's been happening in Lebanon as well since we've been there and been following the news and what's your take on it? It's terrible, I, I still have family there, you know, it's, uh, it's bad. Especially when you hear the news, it's bad, but when you talk to people, it's even worse, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what's so scary about it. And uh, that's why I, I really believe they need more attention from, from us because we live uh, in a paradise here. So obviously we're working with kids to empower them to live a better life. What's your hopes for the future for these kids? You know, when we went there, I remember this teacher and he was like one of them, you know, mm. uh, back in the days. I mean, from the story we heard, he was just a kid without any, an, anywhere to go mm -hmm. and kind of lost. And then now he was teaching the kids how to make music. And you see like how passion can be shared. And that's something that is so amazing about this trip that I realized. And that's why I want to go back each and every year because I wish all these kids one day can, can emerge and, and be like this guy. So big question, the stage is set. We're able to go back. Do we go back and do we finish project play? Yes, for sure. I'm, I never started something I didn't finish, you know, and that's not in my, that's not the way I do things and for music, for sports, you know, you never give up. When you get injured, it's just, uh, it's just a little break, you know? Mm -hmm. You take some time off, you learn about yourself, and you, you even for me, I'm, I'm always really positive, but I, I believe it's like uh, even better because it's gonna, it gave us this time, you know, this whole thing happening in Lebanon. I'm sure we'll go back and we have even better uh, things to show people, you know? Nice. So, yes, we go back and, uh, and if it's not next year, then we'll wait until the year after. And I mean, we got a life before us to, to go back, so. That's for sure. Nice one. Well, if you're in, we're in. I'm sure all the, part the partners are in. I'm sure yeah. the people are in. Everyone's they want to see in. what's happening. You gotta be in, guys. <laughs> it's a big thing. Nice one. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for taking the time thank for the you, schedule. Yeah. And we'll see you in Lebanon. Yeah, hopefully. And we'll see yeah. you on the other side no, of Project hopefully. Play. It's gonna happen. It's gonna so. happen. See you there. Nice one.